Peace y'all, I am ICC and today I am showing you how to hook up your Titan 1 or your Cronus Max to the Raspberry Pi. This method I am showing you works with both devices and the steps are the exact same but from here on out I will refer to it as the Titan 1 only. There are a few reasons why one would want to do this. Let's say for example you are playing NES on the Raspberry Pi, you only need two buttons, A and B and the PlayStation 3 controller you have many extra buttons. You could turn the extra buttons into turbo buttons for example. And while you can do this alone on the Pi, if you use the Titan you can take it a step further. You will be able to make multiple speeds of turbo and adjust it on the fly with just the tap of a button or button combination. You won't need the analogs while playing NES so you can take the right analog and make up increase the speed and make down decrease the speed. This would just be one of the simple functions. And another example, you could program combos or moves into one button. Take another button you won't be using and then attach a move. If you are playing Street Fighter for example, you won't need L2 and R2. So make L2 throw a fireball to the left, make R2 throw a fireball to the right. If you don't like to throw fireballs, you can actually program combos. Those are a few quick examples. But for now, let's get the Titan and the Cronus Max working on the Raspberry Pi. You will need your device, a mini USB cable, and either a PC or a Mac. Plug the USB cable into your device and into the PC. And then start your device software. If you don't have the software installed, I will include links in the description. After you have it downloaded and installed, you will need to start up the software and then click Tools, and then Options, and then click the Device tab. Set the Output Protocol to Xbox 360, and then click Close. Personally, I like to use my PlayStation 3 controllers on the Pi. I don't use my PlayStation 3 much anymore, so the controllers can still get some use this way. And it also keeps my PlayStation 4 controllers in good condition. I will be posting some Titan 1 scripts later on for the Raspberry Pi. It will be some simple stuff, like an adjustable turbo button that you can use on the Pi, or just a regular turbo button. Either way, this is how you do it. I am ICC. Peace.